my Gavan and Melanine, and well met indeed. I am Arachair Galadirth in the head of the submod we call Dividing Funker of Dak, and here we are continuing on with the Anduin campaign. Now, last time I was very uh, obnoxious with my title, and I appreciate that, that I said you thought we were beaten. And um, I realised that that could throw back in my face, but I thought I'd better get, I might as well go with it because it was. Um, the campaign is going well at the moment, as well as it could do. We still don't know what's going to happen with that large force of um, Dol Guldur coming from the forest. And as many of you have guessed, I am hoping that the mountain orc General Ugdash thinks that he is strong enough to take down yes, a Thanagild and a Grimbar on his own. And so he will Lord, rally out Lord. against us. I don't intend on attacking it. However, this large force here, Captain Lug, will almost certainly try and stick you. support him Have in the mountains. At this stage, yes, my lord. it's more about annoying the Misty Mountains than trying to outright defeat them. Because it'll be a while before we can defeat them. But we can certainly annoy them, as I've said. So, that's the goal, that's the plan. Thank you very much to all of you who voted in the faction poll. As upon the date of recording this video, um, Enid Wythe are currently in the lead. But this is at the point where I think there are 320 votes. I do, obviously, the voting has closed, but as of when I'm recording this video, I don't know if the poll lasted a week or if it was shut down before that, but I did aim to close it down yesterday. So I'm hoping that that was the case. Either way, at the date of recording, Enid Wythe are currently winning, which I can now say with... Um, well, I mean, they might not have won by the end, so I may be disappointed, but the whoever voted second may have noticed that Enid Wythe already had one vote, and that was from me. So I'm quite pleased that they are um, leading, or they were. They are leading at this point. This is the 4th of February, because I'd like to play Enid Wythe. I'm not really that bothered about Isengard, so if Isengard have won, then it'll be an interesting experience all round, as I've never played as them. So um, time will tell, as I say too often. They will be added into the rotation of videos, of course, and um, they will be, I will start recording them, well, upon the date that this video is released. So the 11th of February, I'll start recording the new faction. So stay tuned for them to be, their videos will be released whenever they're released in the cycle that I've got going. Anywho, oh, I need to stop making that click noise. Right, let's carry on with this. That's two minutes of filler. Two minutes of unnecessary filler or necessary stage setting. I think all we can do is end turn at the moment, so let's go ahead and do that. Let's go ahead and do that. What modding changes have happened behind the scenes since I last recorded? Well, the mercenary units have been overhauled the way that they work, and we've uh, Hummingbird rather has freed up 15 slots for extra units in the EDU. Um, now, of course, some of you will hear that. You will pause this immediately. You'll head to the comments section and you will list every unit you demand be in this game. And feel free to do that. We will take, of course, um, suggestions as they are the best way to find out what everyone wants. But first of all, we have to deal with some upstart snagger coming from the mountains. Captain Lug believes that he can pull a fast one on old Fastred. Fastred, Kelleborn... Attack! Guy de Lusignan. Call him what you will. I can't remember the actor's actual name. It's not like Peter Jackson in the Umbar campaign, who we all know so well. Peter Jackson's doing very well at the moment, isn't he? Holding Dol Amro. Units, await my orders. Alrighty then. Once again, we're going to use our ability to hide almost anywhere to our advantage. I'm hoping that this campaign is showing you that Hide Anywhere can massively swing battles in your favour, even when you are outnumbered or weaker or just you should lose. Being able to Hide Anywhere allows you to take victories that otherwise you shouldn't take. Right, we'll try and do a similar thing here. The plan will be, our general can't hide. That is a fact I'm sure you all know. So the general and the Aethered footman are going to move up the hill here. Stand atop this hill in the corner. The enemy will then come up the hill at a diagonal slant there. Our archers will be hidden along this side here. Which will allow them to fire 
directly into the side of the enemy almost immediately. Supporting them will be the Veilsman hidden on that side as well. Oh, let's put the Veilsman uh, down here. And then they can come up the hill behind the enemy. So we'll move our faction leader right up into the corner here so the enemy at least moves past him because... Oh, actually, if they start down there, they might walk very close to them. There's no point chancing it. We'll pull them back a bit. All right. The enemy is right in the middle there, as expected. So, footman, form a solid line there. And fast red, go behind them. Time's it. Speed it up to time six. And we wait. And let us hope that our plan... Let us hope that our actions go unnoticed. Snagger stalkers come for us. Snagger skirmishers. Or mountain orc hunters. We will wait until the last possible moment to spring our archer trap. There's a goblin band coming in. Goblin archers. Goblin archers. Now there, we want to try and deal with them. Oh, hello. Hello. We have a silver surfer. Why on earth have we got a silver surfer? Ah, I know why we have a silver surfer. I know exactly why. Well, well, they won't be present in... Well, they'll probably be present in the next Anduin video because I record them directly one after the other. Although I suppose I could pause it and fix it. This is because the mercenary units have changed and the goblin infantry are now listed as a mercenary unit. However, the two units that stand next to them, their captains, they are not listed as a mercenary unit in the ownership file. So they no longer have the correct textures, but the bulk of the unit does. So that is a very quick fix. I will get that one done and dusted for you all. All right, fast red. Show your strength, sir. Oh, there's uh, that gentleman is the only one wearing red on this side, but he's got a lot of red buddies down here. They all seem to have identical faces, as is the curse of medieval two. Right, the enemy will break up, they'll begin their charge, they'll do lots of things, and then our archers will jump up from the mist and rain f fury down upon them. Keep it sped up as nothing again is happening. Snagger skirmishes are coming in in an odd formation. Alright, they've hit our units, but they've not thrown their javelins, which is curious. Right, the goblin archers are now firing. So, our own archers... Run forth. You two there. Hit those goblin infantry. And you two fire on the archers. Alright, and then you four. Now's your time. The enemy is changing their focus. Good job, men. Good job. Keep up the fire. Keep up the fire. Mountain Orc Hunters are heading. Go on, Veilsman. Get one round of a... Please get one volley off. Please get one volley off. Mm, sort of. Position the archers so that they are on the sides. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Do as you're told. Bastard, bring down the goblin archers. Yes, Boromir. Inciting fury in the men of the Vale, even though you are far, far from here. All right, hit the mountain orc hunters in the side. You guys do the same thing, please. Ebo's out. Point blank. Drop him. No. Oh, he's like two meters in front of you. Put an arrow in his head. Oh, 
Oh, they're wavering, they're wavering. The enemy are badly bloodied. They have lost half their men. Why are you dying? Is someone shooting you? You're pretty much point blanking into them as well. Of course, as you are, if um, those of you who've watched the Misty Mountains overview will know that Mountain Orc Hunters are awful if you fire arrows at them. They die very quickly when under Archer fire. Now our Aethed footmen are absolutely slaughtering those Snagger. So far, am, am I correct in thinking they've not yet lost a single man? And the Veilsmen are doing alright. They're getting shredded as expected because the Mountain Orc Hunters have a very high attack. But our archers are now firing into their back. Go on, son. Go on. Clear through the shoulder. Hit them, hit them. Oh, they're running. Stop. Fire at them. Archers. Shift position. You guys, charge up there. Speed it up a bit. Only Mountain Orc at 31. Well, they're doing very well. The enemy general abandons his men. Our men have slain the enemy general. Without him, his troops will lose their will to fight. It's all over. The last units are running. Oh, apart from those. Behold how our cowardly ended. enemy are utterly vanquished. This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. I just wanted that man to remind you all that that victory was only worthy of the mightiest general. <laughs> I jest, of course. I'm not as big-headed as a make-out. The game is unfortunately rather easy. 289 kills for Fastrad. Good job, sir. Good job. Well, I mean, I, I, I belittle those who struggle when I say the game is easy, and I, I don't mean to do that. Um, years of playing only this game have made me quite attuned to how to win it, is a better way of describing the game. Glory, honor, oh, reinforcements have arrived for Goblin Town. Does a Thanagild have what it takes to slaughter them all? Captain Huskash has 924 men. Ah, they've got javelins and they have arrows. I don't think he does. Clear defeat. We took 185 of them with us. We are disgraced. Fall back and retreat. Pulling back from the walls. Gleowine. Gleowine the mighty. Gleowine the great. Gleowine the undefeatable. Should be one of his titles. Right, we're going to do exactly the same thing again because he should have full movement points. So, we're going to kill as many as we can. We attack! And if it transpires that we kill them all, then Gleowine has taken Mount Gundabad on his own. Those cavalry bodyguards have saved my skin in this campaign, and us. I am under no we illusion that that is the case. This turn of events. All right, nice wide line. Oh no, let's catch them off guard. Let's catch them off guard. Nice wide line. The enemy have Start battle. More men. Straight in. Speed it up. Right, they've slaughtered the goblin band. To the top of the hill. Go, 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 go. Warm up. Hit the skirmishers. Wow, that was rubbish. Now the archers are just peppering you. Need to take out that threat. Perfect charge. Good show, man. Good show. Pull out, pull out, pull out. Hit the archers again. Good tidings. The enemy general lies dead. Only half the enemy force remains. The reinforcements are arriving, though. Our army is tiring. Pull up here and see what they do. Have a little break on top of the hill, friends. Right, the skirmishes are coming.
Where's the bodyguard of that? Because the orc bodyguards genuinely could take us. Unfortunately, they have strong, sturdy enough armor that they can withstand the charges. Who are still shooting us? These blooming archers. We're losing more men. We'll have to run in a minute. Get as many kills as you can before that time. Alright, that's the archers dealt with there. Pull down away. Finish the snagger archers. These men must be knackered by now. But if we lose, unfortunately, everyone we capture goes back to the enemy. Oh, that was a ridiculous charge. I really want to win, but I know that I don't think we've got enough half our force Pray something changes to in take the, the bodyguard. Battle, for defeat seems almost certain. And I don't want to kill Galeerwine off in a suicide charge. 16 men versus 47 orc bodyguards. Oh, he killed a lot there. Oh! The gods of fate seem to be turning to our favour. Come on, run away, run away, run away. It seems almost certain. They just let two men die for no reason. Behold how our cowardly foe runs. Yeah. For the moment the yes! of battle yes! away. Yes! Yes! Jason down! Did anyone get away? One unit. We don't know how many of them. The enemy are utterly vanquished. Yes! This is a great victory worthy of only the mightiest of generals. Ridiculously overpowered. 24 of them died and they killed... What is that? 1,119? That's absolutely ridiculous. That is ridiculous. That is mental. Mount Gundabad. We're going to need to find a name for Gleowine. I mean, I know I named the village of Gleowine after Gleowine, but after this, Mount Gundabad surely needs to take his name. We have triumphed. But Mount Gleowine just doesn't seem to doesn't seem we to have the We must make a stand. We are besieged. They're coming for our hobbits. Another last ditch attempt by the orcs to reclaim that which they have lost. Oh, they haven't attacked us in Rakyberg, which is interesting. Rakyberg. Right, the Snagger archers could be a bit of a pain, so could the javelin men. But otherwise, if we can again catch them. This has been a very go, go, go Attack! episode thus far, hasn't it? Three battles. I can't believe Gleowine has done so well. I'm already trying to think of names for Gundabad. I mean, I know the dwarves want it to be to remain Gundabad because Durin awoke there, but they don't own it. We do. It would appear that units can't hide anywhere when they're in a city, by the looks of it, because I would certainly like to get many of the Stur sheriffs to run around the side and throw their stones at the enemy when as they come down the paths to the centre. We probably still can do that. We can get them to hide once they're out, can't we? Come on. Come on, you daft hobbits. Oh, we got them. Going both ways seems to be a chance there. Alright, they're there. Alright, you lot stay over there. Right, you guys are going to stay in the square. So, oh, it's all gone very white, isn't it? The thunder has just struck at this exact moment. It is up to the defenders to hold the square. 
And the Hobbit archers will provide what aid they can from afar. Though it may not be much. And then we will send our sheriffs down to here, where hopefully they will then hide. Speed it up, time six. Zoom in. They might come for the sheriffs, of course. But I'm really hoping that if we can get them to... Um... Yes. Oh, why aren't they disappearing? Disappear! There we are. I'll take it off speed up. So who's coming down the middle? Snagger stalkers, goblin infantry, goblin volunteers. No one's coming from that side, so... Get those to stop. I would like you guys to actually move into that unit there. You guys move slightly further back. You do a similar thing in the corner there. And then if you come down this path, you need to be able to fire in as straight a line as you can. And the goblin band is getting peppered with the stones. Not very well, mind you. If we continue like this, we will smash the enemy. Right, you two are gonna you are gonna go and keep annoying them. The other two. Where are the archers that they've got? Why are their archers not doing anything? One of you, run down there. The other one just keep doing that, I suppose. Oh, their archers are over there. Interesting. Be a bit of a javelin off there, isn't it? Keep chasing them. Right, you lot. Run to about there. We'll speed it up a bit. Stop and throw stones at the spookers at the back. I trust you are throwing stones. Go on, throw, throw, throw. Ah, <laughs> that was cool. You lot, keep throwing. Can't get them to go there. The snag of skirmishes are slaughtering the hobbits. We're holding our lines. The goblin band has been killed and it's forays to the left hand side there. this side. Oh well, we'll let them fight there. Alright, you lot. Go around, catch them off. There goes the fighting in the main square. Ah, oh, we'll worry about you a lot a little bit later. I want you to run back and... Only half the enemy force remains! And you all to throw your javelins, your stones at the snagger archers. Catch them in a three way crossfire. Thwack, 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 thwack. Oh, that's just carnage, isn't it? 
They're wavering, but they're running towards the enemy. Good show. Who would have thought hobbits with stones would be so effective? Alright. Now, it's just a case of killing as many as we can. I want you to run down there. I want you guys to run as close as you can get. And I'd like you to come over here as well. Let you just have your little javelin off with those archers. Charge them down. Speed it up again. Hobbitry and orbs! And what of the situation over here? Ah, oh, they're running. It's only a matter of time now. Unfortunately, the Wildman defenders are strong. Much stronger than Snagger and Goblin Bands. I mean, what are we looking at here? 10-5. And they've got Snagger Stalkers 4-2. Just not good enough. Goblin Infantry 9. Well, the Goblin Infantry are about on par. Slightly worse. But there's also a large number of them. The enemy army flees the field. Pursue and run them down. Continue for as long as you can. I want as many dead as possible. The aim, of course, being that none of them will escape as they are caught in the gap there. Who was the last? What have we got? Who ran away over here? How many are there? Like five or six. What have up here? Well, that texture problem again. Ah, barely any. The game is won. Be awed by the 99. victory that won here today. 1067. Store sheriffs. Well done, says. Ah, oh, no, the Wildman Defenders one. <laughs> the other ones didn't kill a single unit. Fascinating. Absolutely fascinating. Hopefully the turn will come to a conclusion there, and I will also bring this video to a conclusion there as well. Now, as I say, you won't see the fix to the silver surface in the, um, in the next video, because I'll just continue straight on through. I mean, it barely affects the gameplay, does it? And it'll be fixed by the next time. Glory, honor, victory! Hunter's Guild. Ah, oh, and we can build it as well. Thillion has been lost. And the Haradrim are doing well. Oh dear. Feel free to have a read of that. I hope I kept it up long enough that you can pause it. Alright, so. Oh, Gundabad didn't fall. Jammy bastards. Your orders, my lord. Clear why. Maintain that siege. You'll be able to capture we that in the next prevail. Yes. Yes, my lord. To rename the episode now. Should call it Gleowine's Might. Oh, that picture was slightly too big. It cut off the left hand side. They all seem to be doing okay. No other things to think of from that side there. So I shall, as I say, end the video there and continue on with a new one in a second. So as ever, thank you very much for watching, if indeed you have. If you have any comments or any questions or any queries or anything at all, please feel free to put them in the comments section where they'll get picked up. The YouTube comments section is a bit better now that it notifies me again, or indeed head over to Total War Center, where someone will be able to give you a hand. But until next time, dear friends, Navar Naden Pedemad Melunin, and farewell.